In this video, we will look at what causes cell level errors and how to fix these. We had a look at what the step level error is and what causes these and how to fix them in part 1 of this video. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. Remember, a step level error prevents the query from loading, whereas a cell level error lets the query load but displays the error value as error in the cell. Let's look at this query report that I generated showing salary data. The query loaded, but it loaded with an error, so this is definitely a cell level error. Let's take a closer look in the query editor. Notice that Power Query has given us a new query called Errors in Table 1, and it's only showing the lines that have errors. Clicking on the error in the cell displays the error pane underneath the data preview. And it shows that it's a data format error, as the column shows the salaries as a whole number, but this cell has NA, which is text, and Power Query couldn't convert the text to a number, so it displays an error. To fix this, Power Query provides a set of functions to handle cell level errors, either by removing, replacing, or keeping the errors. But before you decide on which option you want to use, Let's say you had a really large data set and you want to first see where in your salary data the error occurs. In the error report that Power Query created for us, it added an index column in the step here, so we can see that the error is in the fourth row. Let's click on the added index step and our rows start at 1 and not 0. So if we go to our table 1 query in the add column tab, Click on the drop down menu next to index column and select from 1. And we have our index column. So we can filter on the fourth row. Let's delete the errors in table 1 query as we don't need this anymore. Back in our table 1 query, let's clear the filter. Let's say for auditing purposes, we wanted to identify any rows with errors, even if we don't fix the errors. This is where keep errors can be helpful. To keep rows that have errors, first select the column that contains errors. On the Home tab, select the drop-down menu for Keep Errors and select Keep Errors. And only the rows with errors remain. If we wanted to remove the rows with errors, let's X out this Kept Errors step, select the column that contains errors, on the Home tab, select the drop-down menu for Remove Errors and select Remove Errors and the entire row containing the error is removed. If instead of removing rows with errors, we wanted to replace the errors with a fixed value, let's X out this Removed Errors step and select the column that contains errors. On the Transform tab, select the drop-down for Replace Values and select Replace Errors. In the Replace Errors dialog box, enter the value 0 as we want to replace all errors with a 0 and click on OK. And we no longer have any errors. Let's X this Replaced Errors step out as I want to show you that when you hover over the status bar of the column with the errors, this dialog box pops up, click on the three ellipses on the side here of Remove Errors and you can get to your functions to keep, remove or replace errors much quicker. If you encounter any date errors, I would definitely recommend you check out this video here, How to Fix Power Query Date Error. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.